Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Mastermind Book Club. I'm your co-host, Charles Comer, and I'm here with CEO David Diaz and Reggie Hilliard. Tonight, we have an interesting book, The Power of the Unconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. It's an excellent book that should be read or listened to several, several times. The book talks about planting seeds into that inner man by looking at pictures, doing meditation, and also dreaming. Uh, also, you have to put away negative thoughts if you're going to achieve something that you see. Quick story for you. I remember having a vision about the Gordon Fisherman. <laughs> and it would be a uh, commercial that came on many, many years ago. But one day I, I had this dream about an African-American man walking there <clears throat> on a street named Walnut and he had a fishing pole and a white bucket and he was in the uh, Gordon Fisherman's yellow gear. And sure enough, I was driving one day not thinking about this and it was raining and didn't I see the same gentleman just as it was in the vision. So if you can look at things that you want to manifest in your life in that, in that fashion, even without talking about it or without speaking about it, it can happen for you. And that's some of the great things that this book covers for us. David? Thank you, Charles. Appreciate that. This book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind, is written by a doctor, Dr. Joseph. What was the last name again? Murphy, Dr. Murphy. Joseph Murphy. It's amazing that he talks about religion, that he talks about meditation, that he talks about ways to heal yourself without the need of operations, without the need of complicated pills, without the need of long procedures, which is the norm this day and age. Now, I have nothing against it. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. It's just, it's amazing when you come across a book that a doctor chooses a non-traditional way of improving your own life, your own negative thoughts, your own negative healthy, unhealthy habits. And the reality is that most of us, we just choose the words that we've been brought up with, and which usually are negative. And that's the reality. This book talks about that. That's number one. Number two is, just as Charles said, we lack the time out that we need to be able to meditate or pray or to focus. We don't do that. What do we gain from not doing this? Not much. What could we gain from doing one of these? An unbelievable amount. And that's right. That's how a lot of the successful people do it out there. And that's why we continue to read these books. If you want to know more about this book, which we highly, highly recommend it, as it is I believe our second or third time listening to this book, this book is very powerful. Don't think Reggie can talk. So we'd like to end this review here. This summary was presented by Charles Cormor and myself, David Diaz, CEO David Diaz. Until next week, where we're going to review another empowering book that can get you from where you are today to where you really want to be. Take care and stay safe. Mastermind Book Club.